Okay, y'all are sitting with me today because we are gonna start something new and it's gonna be all about spiritual topics because every single person right now through the past like year has been going through a spiritual awakening whether you want to believe that or not and this is gonna be like basically courtney is your go-to youtube dictionary where you can just come and explain terms to you in my way while still looking them up and seeing what the good old googs has to say but that's basically what this is because so many people are going through an awakening and we need people to explain what it is and your girl's been through quite a few awakenings <laughs> i know there'll be more to come friends get yourself a tea because I'm about to spill the tea on all things spirituality <laughs> that was so lame cheers <laughs> spirituality <laughs> mm. hey everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Courtney if you're new here I upload videos every week and I am trying to be more consistent. Like, subscribe, um, hit the bell notification so then you will be notified when I do post. Talk about all things astrology, spirituality, lifestyle, and also vlogs, which I'm attempting to bring more of into the world. But today is a day where I'm trying something new. And um, you know, this is really inspired by the fact that so many people are often like what the frig is going on what is a spiritual awakening what is this term dark night of the soul what is she talking about what do you even mean by that literally sometimes when i talk about some of the things i've been through or like the terms that people in the spiritual community use people look at you like feel okay and it's like yeah i'm okay but only the people understand it who have been through it so i thought you know what you're gonna bring the tea the spirituality to the tube of you and explain it to you in a way that makes sense from a human perspective of what the actual mm -hmm is going on within our whole society our world us as a whole because at the end of the day you didn't know 2020 was a massive spiritual awakening and that is exactly what we're going to talk about today. Today's topic in the spirituality tea spilling is spiritual awakenings because I've had a few, so I'm not an expert, but I'm a, I'm definitely a senior. I, I would consider myself to be. Probably not though. Okay, so obviously if you're watching this right now and you clicked on this, you will know that this is a spiritual topic. It's something that, you know, maybe has become a little bit more mainstream over the past few months, years, it's been years. Lots of people know what's going on. There's lots of people in the spiritual community talking about this stuff. I wanted to talk about it in a way that kind of like makes sense and bring it down to reality. Uh, Cause sometimes these terms are very confusing and I know when I was going through stuff, I was like, so today we're gonna talk about spiritual awakenings. I literally Googled what is a spiritual awakening and this is what it said. I'll just do this work for you so you don't have to, you know? I need to put my hair up for this because things are getting serious. In here, we don't mess around when we talk about spiritual awakenings and you would know that if you've been through one. <laughs> so. so basically I typed into Google, what the heck is a spiritual awakening? I didn't put heck, but I put what is a spiritual awakening? And it says, spiritual awakening, an awakening of a dimension of reality beyond the confines of the ego. The ego is our exclusive sense of self or I. This awakening occurs when, for whatever reason, the ego somehow lets go so that the higher self or spirit can arise within. I mean, basically that is, sums up what Google defines as a spiritual awakening. Obviously there are so many things that you can look up online. Five, literally it says here, 10 symptoms of a spiritual awakening. Yeah, that's great. Like, but like, what does that actually mean in layman's terms? This is exactly how I would describe it in a way that is not butterflies and roses either. A spiritual awakening is something that happens to your body, to your mind, to your soul, to your spirit, and literally shifts you in who you think you are and who you're meant to be 
into someone completely different. Essentially, it's like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon. And it's painful and it doesn't feel great. And it feels like you're like, oh my God, like stretching out of a skin that's like you didn't even know you had. But you know what? It's always worth it on the other side. Your mind opens, your eyes open. You see things that you didn't see before. Not like literally, I mean, some people do. But you see things in a different way. You see the constructs. It's almost like you come through a different layer. It's almost like before your spiritual awakening, you're literally asleep and you're just like seeing things as they are on the surface and blah, 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 and moving about your day. And you awaken a certain layer. It's like you defog your glasses or the windshield wiper and all of a sudden you can see things in a different way and it's like whoa man this is kind of scary like i've never seen this before this is not what i was taught like what do i do with this information your body into this crazy up level that basically you go through the shit storm to see the rainbow essentially that is a spiritual awakening in my humble opinion now I want to say you go through one of these more than once in your life. My view on this is that basically you go through a spiritual awakening when you're not on your intended path and the universe goes eep, or God, whoever you choose to believe in source shifts you back into the alignment in which you are meant to be going on. So we all know this feeling. We're doing something over and over again that we clearly know we shouldn't be doing choices, doing whatever that just doesn't feel right. And we keep doing it anyway, because it's either comfortable or it's like all we know, or it's too stubborn to want to change it. And all of a sudden the universe comes in and goes, boom, spiritual awakening. That's one type of spiritual awakening, but there's another type. And I feel like that was kind of like a big 2020. Like we literally can use 2020 as a perfect example of the world. What's that saying? Going to hay in a hay basket? Going to shit in a hand basket? What's that saying? It's like the world was going to shit in a hand basket. <laughs> I don't know that saying. What is it saying? Whatever. The world was basically needing to be completely reworked and rewired in the way that the people were operating in the way that the systems have been operating, not working. And the earth was like telling us that for a really long time, not enough people were listening. So all of a sudden things happen, things change, something greater than just us here pushes us in a certain direction. And it requires us to change because it needs us to grow and evolve into who we are becoming, into who the world, universe, our people, whatever, need us to be. The only constant is change. And if we're not changing, insert spiritual awakening here. But let's like just read a few of these on here of what it says certain symptoms are and then I'm going to compare it and say like, okay, like, I think this is true. Do I not think this is true? Basically, I've just pulled up a random article and it's from Chopra. I will link it down below so you guys can check it as well. Um, 10 signs of spiritual awakening, enlightenment and awakening. Now, enlightenment and awakening, terms, similar terms. I like both. I'm not going to judge either one of them. I think they're very well represented by what we're talking about. Enlightenment and awakening. You are literally raising to something new. You are, you are, <laughs> when I do this, it's like you're literally ripping off a piece of your body. Okay, so one of the things it says on here, it's a sign of the times and the word awakened has made it into the urban dictionary. What time to be alive. I'm spiritually aware of the universe, this is what it means, and it's direct metaphysical connection to one's own being and the connection it has to all life forces. So they're saying it's mainstream now, which is true. But let's see, examples of awakened people. Ooh, Russell Brand, Jim Carrey, Oprah Winfrey. Now, levels here, we're not gonna dive into all of this. However, I would say Oprah Winfrey is yes. By the way, she's an Aquarius. She is woke. She's a woke. She's a woke. I don't even like that word, but she's awakened. I think that she has a beautiful way of bringing. She's clearly been through many spiritual awakenings, but she has a really good way of like bridging both the human and the spiritual together. And Russell Brand, um, I think he's like on another level, and then Jim Carrey's like another level. Which like some of you watching this are. You're at the first level. So like, that's not get carried away with what's over there because it is a constant. I'm telling you that right now. Okay, so one of the things this also says is, so now you have a few examples of awakened people. Here are 10 signs of a spiritual awakening. 
observing your patterns. One of the first things is that you start to notice your patterns is what this says. So an example that they're bringing up is, do I really drink this much? Why do I get angry so often? Am I comparing myself to others? I really need red meat in my diet. See? So they're saying with this is that you start to question yourself. And I think one of the reasons why you start to question yourself is because of the fact that things start to look differently. You are changing. Your feelings and your emotions are becoming literally awakened and you have no choice but to actually like listen to them. So then you start to wonder about certain things. You're becoming awakened, waking up. Feeling a sense of connection. Okay, so this is interesting. I think what they're trying to discuss here is a connection to something different. Oftentimes when we're going through a spiritual awakening, it can feel really friggin' hard and almost like it hurts us a lot because it's essentially an identity shift. Your ego is represented by your identity. So if on some level you're letting go of your ego, it means you're letting go of parts of your identity. That happens, we are often brought to our knees and like really crying on the bathroom floor. <laughs> And during that time, we want hope, we want faith, we turn to something else. And that's a lot of the time where other people's, where the connection to source or spirit or something greater comes in because it is the essence of what gets us through, right? You can see it time and time again. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with believing in whatever you want to believe in. So I got cut off there was out of storage, so we're back. Because I don't even know where I was on that last note, I have no clue. Oh yeah, the connection to source, okay. So then they also say on here, letting go of attachment, which is an interesting one. I feel like attachment piece is really hard and that's something I think that comes over and over and over again. It's like within representing or understanding your patterns. These are like, definitely read this down below, finding inner peace, increasing your intuition, that's a huge one. Having synchronicity, that is another huge one. Actually, let's talk about that one super quick. So synchronicity, I think during a spiritual awakening is something that um, you see a lot of now. I get DMs all the time and, pe and people are like, oh my God, like what does this number sequence mean? Like, what is this or what is that? And it's so interesting because when you first start to see that, first of all, you, um, you, you go back and forth between being like, is this like, like a sign or is this not like is this real or is this not and then you like almost start like looking for everything as a sign that's where that like detachment comes in where you learn eventually but the synchronicities do start to happen people start to come into your life who like you all of a sudden just want to work with or like who are there to help you um you feel this sense of like connection between them almost like soulmates which is going to be a different video and I think that increasing of the intuition is so important. Through increasing your intuition, that is where synchronicities start to come in because they are reminding you, hey, here's a breadcrumb, you're on the right path. Here's a 10 cent dime, here's a feather, here's a number sequence that's telling you, stay aware, stay open, keep going. That is how spirit communicates with us. So during a spiritual awakening, I'm like, what the frig is going on? It's nice to have those little symbols and signs and to communicate with something greater than us hey even if it's the aliens i don't care okay okay the other one increasing your compassion this one is huge and i also want to say that i think it's also empathy during a spiritual awakening what i find super interesting is that essentially you are going through a really at times it can feel really dark and heavy it's taking the walls around our hearts that we build from a surface level place, it cracks it open and it reveals all the dark parts of you because essentially you need to love the both the dark and the light. By doing that, it actually increases compassion, it increases empathy. So I agree with this one, I really do. It, it does increase that because it's almost like the more that your heart opens, the more that you see people in different ways. And I think it's just like, and also for yourself, like self-compassion for like that you're going to go, <laughs> it's big. Oh, I noticed um, just coming off of 2020, it's like everyone's kind of like, how are you? And like normalizing, like saying, I actually don't know how to answer that right now. I've seen a post about that. I, I love that. Removing fear of death, um, increasing authenticity. That one is big. I think the more and more that you go through spiritual awakenings, you have no other choice other than to just like simply be yourself. And I say simply, but it's actually not that simple because we were conditioned to not be ourselves and to fit into boxes and spiritual awakenings come and they're like, no, you're gonna honor yourself. Flourishing practices to assist in your spiritual. Okay, then they've added this whole thing down here, which is of 
essentially being of service. When I look at that, here's a few things that I like to say. Yeah, I've given you my definition of a spiritual awakening. I do want to like just put in here that go read that article. I think it's a good one. Um, but spiritual awakenings don't look the same to everybody. I want to search for information, which is why I want to make these videos. I was there. I remember going ham on personal development, self-help, and I like locked myself in my room and I was like, I don't even, I didn't even want to be around people. That's another thing. I didn't want to be around anybody. I just wanted to learn, be inspired, understand what I was trying to, what I was feeling. Um, and it's new, it's different, and it's something that comes out of nowhere. And that's what a lot of people are experiencing right now. So I want to say you're not alone. There is many spiritual teachers that came before you. Eat, Pray, Love, Julia Roberts, that was a spiritual awakening. She was like, I'm not happy with my life anymore. This is not me, this isn't who my identity is, and I wanna make a change. So she did, and her life's completely different. That's a spiritual awakening. So there are plenty of resources out there for you to like obviously learn from, but what I wanna hammer home is that spiritual awakenings are not always love and light. They're not butterflies and roses. They are hard. And the reason why they're hard is because they are getting you to be somebody that you've never been before. Or like it's a remembering of your soul. So it takes a lot of that like deep inner work of digging things out. And sometimes it's fun and sometimes it's not fun. So. Spiritual awakenings are not just going to yoga, drinking your green juice, and sitting and meditating on top of a hill. It's not the way that it is. It looks like that sometimes, it's glorified on social media, but it is, it is hard sometimes. It messes with your body. It can literally change your entire physi physiological being. Physiological being, I think that's right. It's tough and it's really amazing to have people who understand you and that's again why I wanted to make this because you're not alone. I've been through it um, and I'll go through it again. It happens. The more in tune that you become and the more that you practice with your intuition, more of those spiritual awakenings happen again and again and again and again. So this isn't to scare you, but if you are going through this right now, know that you're not alone. There is support out there. There are resources. Find ways to support yourself. Whether that be connecting with people on social media that you find similar interests and values in. Whether that be watching Oprah videos. That's what I did. Maybe that looks like investing in tarot cards. Maybe that looks like searching up topics that are interesting to you. And we'll say, what is gonna happen during your spiritual awakening is some friends are gonna come with you and some are not. And that's totally okay. They, someone told me this once, but it's like, they're sometimes friends come and sometimes they don't and sometimes they come back around. And at the end of the day, you have to know that what you're going through is for your journey and what they're going through is on their journey. If it doesn't come together during a certain period of time, it's okay. It might come back together again and it might not. Part of what you have to go through, so have empathy and compassion for yourself going through these processes know you're not alone and remember that this is gonna bring you to a whole other universe <laughs> i'm just kidding you're not gonna like ascend to another universe at least you might but i haven't done that yet so um but you will open your third eye you will see things differently you will feel things differently you'll feel emotions you never thought you could feel You'll see your shadows, you'll see the dark parts of your soul, you'll see the dark parts of other people, and it'll be a wild ride. But every time you do this, you get closer to your higher self. So full circle, I do agree with this article and I would recommend going to check it out. Comment below if you've been through a spiritual awakening before, maybe what's one of your biggest takeaways. Um, like this video if you wanna see more definitions, my definitions on these things, and um, yeah, subscribe. And know that I am sending you so much love because as I said, spiritual awakenings are not always love and light. Sometimes they are. They're good green juices, <laughs> which I 10 out of 10 recommend as well, but like sometimes they suck. They Sometimes they suck. If they suck right now for you, I'm sending you a big hug. You deserve it. And no, this is not gonna last forever. That's it for today's spiritual tea. And I will see you in the next one. Subscribe, like this video. Bye.